there are so many things to talk about there from displacement of work, upskilling your workforce, etc., etc. What I'm going to focus on is one thing that's often forgotten or at least taken for granted for many of the organization. When you introduce a new digital system or a new generative AI tool, it is not just the tool that matters. What matters more are your employees' behavior and process change in order to take advantage of those tools. Let me give you an example. Uh, when I run a lot of uh, executive programs, especially when we talk about digital transformation and generative AI, company would say, yes, we bought all these new uh, tools. For example, we have a new CRM system that has built in generative AI model or large language models that can help us do the analytics. But what they are really, really frustrated is with this tens of million dollars investment, there's no data entered into the system. And therefore, how do we change the employee behavior so we gather the data in, we have the employees actually use the system, become very, very important. So let me share an example from an INSEAD alum who worked at Tata Consultancy. So they work with an airline food processing company. Their job is to prepare the cart that we've seen on the airplane. There are so many different items. It's actually prompt to a lot of mistakes. And therefore, what they wanted to do is engage with Tata to help them streamline uh, the process and introduce generative AI tools, for example, to help our organization. Guess what? They face huge pushback from the organization because they believe they're going to introduce machinery and robotics to replace the workforce. What the team did beautifully is they actually sit in and understand the workflow and the processes and then they realize it will be too expensive to introduce a fully automated line. What they could do is they introduce a few very interesting things. First, they introduce a blueprint with a lighting so they can actually project the blueprint of the organization of the food tray, for example, directly onto uh, the tray as the employees preparing for the food. In addition, they introduce an image recognition system, which is part of the machine learning algorithm in order to help the people track the inventory and also check whether they place the right food items on the tray. So through this effort, what you see is they overcome this barrier of resistance from the employees. The employee actually become the advocate. They talk to each other in order to introduce these new systems. So what we're basically seeing is within the organization, the biggest challenge to overcome is change people's behavior in adopting generative AI.